There's my anemometer here. There are weather fanatics. And so I measure right in here. And then there's Cliff Harris, a longtime climatologist, records weather at his Coeur d'Alene home and makes forecasts. He's been doing that and writing about weather for the local paper for years. So when Harris was tasked with determining what day last month would see some snow, he picked Saturday, January 11th, and he wasn't wrong. And we didn't even get our newspaper until Monday we had so much snow. That's important because he was tasked with making a forecast for Clark's Diamond Jewelers. The company was running a promotion that if it snowed more than three inches on the 11th, they'd refund purchases made during the holiday season. The ordeal was backed by a specialty insurance company that does weather-related promotions. But despite Harris measuring over three inches of snow on the 11th, the insurance company disagreed on what happened. Weather Command, the Illinois-based weather company hired by the insurance company, Clark says, twice determined that Coeur d'Alene saw less than three inches of snow on the 11th. Well, they weren't here. I was here. That's why I'm frustrated. I've been measuring snow for 30 years. That has Harris fuming. He argues that the insurance company is trying to get out of paying and questions how reliable a forecaster based 1,700 miles away was during the storm. His plan now? Sue Weather Command for one and a half million bucks. Triple damages because they put me in a bad light. They're accusing me of fudging the figures, and I would never do that. Harris says he's giving the company until Valentine's Day to pay up. He's received dozens and dozens of calls about this. But they're going to pay, and I'm not dropping this ball. Clarks, meanwhile, says they're enlisting the help of legal experts in their fight. I did reach out to Weather Command for comment, but I'm waiting to hear back. Harris says he's not in this for the money. He'd just rather have it all solved and his reputation remain intact. I'm protecting my legacy. And that's worth a lot to me. Is that worth a million and a half? You better believe it. In Coeur d'Alene, Taylor Vido, Crim 2 News.